Holo is quite possibly the short squeeze of the year, and it's looking like it might not be over just yet. I'll tell you how I'm playing this one at the end of this video. But do you remember when we texted you the breakout of 235 on Holo? Well, it hit $98 on Friday, and there's a lot you need to know with it pulled back to 48 right now. I've got a lot to explain on this one today, so I'm just going to jump right into it after you click that like and subscribe button, and remember you can sign up for my text with the link in my top pinned comment or description box. But let's start from the beginning. Holo went from a low of $1.45 per share on February 6th to $51 per share on February 7th without a major and significant crash. It had a 25% and a 35% pullback on its way up, but that was it until it hit $51 per share. And after it hit 51 per share, it experienced its first major retracement of about 50% before it rode its way back up and down again, creating a consolidation between like 15 to 25. And then at market open on the 13th, it exploded another 177% again from 15 to 43 per share. This is important to note and take into consideration because past performance and runs and consolidations can sometimes be predictive of future moves. After it hit 43, it pulled back 50% again and started to consolidate once again from like 20 to 30 per share before it ripped 85% back to 42 again. Then it consolidated in the 30s briefly before exploding another 200% to reach 98 per share on Friday. Since hitting 98, it's pulled back more than 50% once again and is in another consolidation phase as we speak. But taking all of this into consideration and assuming this is in fact a short squeeze, which I'll hit on in a moment, then I'm led to speculate that it could be prepping for another major move to the upside. I'm actually speculating that it could see an explosive pre-market or market open tomorrow morning, Tuesday, when we resume trading after a long weekend. I'm leaning towards market open, but that's only my personal guess as I'm not a financial advisor. These videos are for entertainment purposes only. And although I texted it out at 235 per share to over 9,000 people, I myself never would have guessed that it would run 4,000%. Remember, it's always your own responsibility to do your own research, which is imperative in this one's case because it's the most volatile stock I've seen in over four years of doing this every single day. But the research is going to be tough on this one because it's possibly going through a short squeeze as we speak. And I say possibly because there's almost no way for us retail investors to confirm if shorts are actually covering. There is absolutely no recourse for hedge funds and market makers reporting false information, marking their short positions as long positions, not reporting any information or reporting the information late. Knowing that they can report any data that they want, there's no way we can determine if this is actually shorts covering. Even with the Ortex data, we can only speculate. And Ortex data, although it's our best source of information as retail investors, there's no one guaranteeing that the data is accurate or on time. And I, for one, do not trust that any of the nefarious shorts in the market are reporting accurate data. I bet they're reporting the exact data that they want us to see, banking on the fact that millions of people do trust that data and will base their trading strategies off of the data that they chose to report to us. And if they're ever caught lying or reporting data late, they pay a million dollar fine. They just continue to do the same thing for 10 more years until they get another cost of doing business million dollar fine. But a million dollar fine is nothing compared to the billions they make every single year by shorting these stocks into the dirt. Until they're thrown in jail and banned from doing business, this will never change. None of them give a shit about the insignificant fine once every several years. And every time they pay the fine, they get to escape fraud charges by not admitting guilt. They literally can be fined a hundred times and never one single time be found guilty of fraud. So long as they just pay the fine and, of course, continue to donate to their political campaigns. So I, for one, do not trust the Ortex data, and I don't give a shit what it says the short interest is or whether it's indicating them covering or not. I do believe, though, that the way this stock is behaving and the times in which it's running is indicative of shorts covering large positions because stocks almost never run 4,000% in one week. I've only seen it maybe one other time in my own trading career. 
I'm thinking AMC and GME, which were in fact short squeezes. So how I'm playing this one right now and how I'll be playing it heading into tomorrow's trading session, I'm either playing the breakout over and over again. I'll link a video at the end of this video explaining my breakout and scalping strategies, but I'd either be repeatedly playing the breakout of old highs or scalping it repeatedly on the way up for small percentage gains over and over again. Or I'll initially play the breakout of either the VWAP or its old highs. And once it reaches like 10 to 30% up in price, I'll use a trailing stop loss. My trailing stop loss will follow the price up allowing me to capture very large percentages if it continues to make those massive moves like it's already been making. A trailing stop loss will automatically sell your position at a predetermined price, or if the price drops a specific percentage from its high. And then as my position becomes more and more profitable, I will likely loosen my stop loss a little bit, expecting little pullbacks along the way like we've already seen. But my stop loss will help guarantee that I make a significant profit and not lose also, because this is extremely risky, as all short squeeze candidates are, I will not be going all in. That is exactly how you blow up a portfolio. This stock is currently still up over 3,000% from where the run started a week ago. This is the epitome of a super high risk purchase at these levels. Although I think it has some juice left in the squeeze, maybe it doesn't. And I'm not willing to risk my entire portfolio on buying a stock that's already up over 3,000%. So I personally will not be using any more than 10 to 20% of my entire penny stock trading portfolio. This helps ensure I'm practicing proper risk management. Here's a free video explaining my breakout and scalping strategies. And if you're tired of missing out on all of my amazing texts, sign up with the link in my top pinned comment or description box. On screen now are all of my alerts from last week when I texted out Holo at 235 per share. There's no better list out there to catch these wild rides. Link in comment or description box.